Welcome back to PSC Stack Buy. Today I want to talk with you about how you can share resources in SharePoint Online using the SharePoint PMP.js library. First of all, let me remind you that the PMP.js library is an API, a fluent API, which allows you to leverage most uh, of the useful capabilities available in SharePoint on-premises and SharePoint Online in a client-side development model. It is an open source library, which you can find on GitHub, and in order to uh, use it, you can leverage any client-side technology like JavaScript, TypeScript, Node.js, or whatever else, as long as you have support uh, for NPM packages. In fact, uh, the PMPJS library is provided as a set uh, of NPM packages available under at npm slash and the name of the package you want to use. If you want to have uh, and read uh, more details about PMPJS, you can go on the GitHub uh, site dedicated to the project, or you can watch the PSC Step Byte recording number 18 and 23. Now, in order to share resources in SharePoint Online, first of all, you will have uh, to install the NPM packages uh, of uh, PMPJS, and you will have uh, to import the HP type uh, from PMPJS because the SP type is the base one and the reference one whenever you want to interact with the SharePoint. Moreover, you will have to init the uh, PMPJS component for SharePoint. And if you are in the context of SharePoint framework, you will have to provide the context, the SPFX context to the init method of the SP type of PMPJS. Moreover, you will find a bunch of methods available for folders, libraries, and sites in order to share those resources to a target user and or eventually to unshare, to remove a sharing link or a sharing for a resource. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you a bunch of code playing with this stuff. So here I am in a modern team site in SharePoint Online and as you can see if i go to the site permissions of this site and i click on the advanced permission settings uh, we have just the out of the box permissions uh, for the out of the box groups uh, uh, predefined in the team site and the same happens if i open the uh, share document document library and i go to the uh, library settings to see what are the permissions uh, for this uh, library so here we are permissions for this document library again we have the out of the box uh, permissions so now let me switch to a client side web part uh, which i have here in the sharepoint workbench uh, and let me first of all show you the source code of this uh, client side web part it's a client side web part based on a react component so i'm in the tsx uh, uh, source code of the react component in which i'm importing the sp type uh, as well as a couple of supporting types for sharing uh, stuff with pmpjs in the component did mount, uh, I simply set up the uh, SP type providing the context of SharePoint framework. And then uh, I have a button, a primary button. When I click on the primary button, I simply execute the share resources uh, uh, function. Here I get the relative URL of the current set collection. And then I get to the SP type dot web, a, uh, I can call the share object method uh, providing the URL of the target resource that I want to share at the web level, the uh, login name of the target user with the, uh, uh, who I want to share my content, and the sharing role, which can be, uh, for example, edit, known, owner, or view. And for example, I'm sharing the full uh, site, so the whole site uh, with the view permission, and then I just uh, output the result in the console window. And I do the same uh, for a specific library, the share document library, with an edit permission, so a contribute permission. And again, uh, I show the result here. So let me switch back to the client server web part and let me click on the button. As you will see, we will get back the sharing result response with all of the information about the sharing that happened. And if I go to the permissions of my uh, modern team site, I can see that the user I selected now has a read permission level for the whole site. And if I go to the document library and I refresh the permission, here in the document library, I have a contribute uh, permission for that specific user. So it is pretty easy to do. You can simply share the object using the share object method, providing the URL of the target resource, the username in target, and the role you want to apply. 
As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.